Like I always tell people when they come to look at a cow and they're considering buying one for their own home use, uh, I always tell them it's like having another child, you know, I mean there's responsibility that goes with it, you know, you have to care for them and tend to them. Yeah, I get calls from time to time from people that, that want to come to the farm, maybe buy a cow, maybe buy a calf, you know, just depends on what they're looking for. Um, it's all kind of word of mouth through a friend, you know, somebody knows somebody. Um, I would say maybe about 10 people a year visit the farm and most of them leave with a calf. You know, it's, it's, they want to turn it into a family project. Uh, a lot of these folks homeschool their kids and it's part of the education for the children. You know, we're going to raise this calf. It, I think it's a great project. It teaches the kids responsibility. It teaches them to care for something other than themselves. Um, and then, you know, once, once that animal's grown, then it becomes a milk producing cow for them. And they have their own fresh milk every day for their family. Um, so it, it, it's a good thing. If you were raising a cow at home on your own, You'd feed all the same things I feed here on the barn, or excuse me, here on the farm. You would bring in alfalfa that you would feed her. When, when she comes into the milking barn, you would give her grain. Um, in the springtime, when you have rain and there, there's grass, she would pasture the land and get grass. Um, and throughout the year, throughout the different seasons of the year, the milk will take on different flavors. Um, in the springtime when she's eating a lot of grass, the milk will actually have a grassy flavor. Um, in the fall of the year, it'll kind of take on a different flavor again. Um, you know, when you're buying milk in the grocery store, you probably really won't notice that. But for folks that have their own cow in their backyard, that is something you would notice. Um, my milk is, is uh, kept separate by a cheese maker. And, and they make cheese with that milk. And so through the different times of the year, you can taste that in the cheese, the, the different flavors that, that go with the different time of year. Um, and I, I think for a real true cheese eater, that's something they're looking for. They, they can identify with that. They, they can taste the different flavors throughout the year and different flavors from different breeds of cows. So here we've got a little calf. Uh, she's three weeks old. She was born here on the farm. Um, her mother and her grandmother are some of the cows that are milked every day. Uh, right now she lives in this little plastic house. Uh, it's very versatile. It keeps her warm in the winter, keeps her cool in the summer. Um, right now I've got them pretty close to my house so they get the shade from the tree. Uh, we had kind of a hot summer, a little bit warmer than normal, so it, it, it kind of helped with the health of the calves to have the shade of the tree. Um, you, you can see they're all very friendly, um, and she'll grow up to produce milk here on the ranch. Um, at, at two years of age, uh, she'll give birth and start producing milk, um, and then from that point on, she'll give birth once a year, every year, and, and produce milk. Um, so she's referred to as a replacement. You know, she'll she'll come into the milk herd uh, to to replace maybe an older cow that, that needs to, to leave. Uh, but it's you know it's, it's it's part of farm life, part of the daily routine to to have your calves and and give them milk and give them grain. I I believe there's a real bond you know between the farmer and his livestock. Um, it, I, I, I think it really helps to produce a good quality product because when you have that bond, they're, they're very relaxed, they're very comfortable with you. Um, and, and the more relaxed they are, uh, you know, everything they do, they're at peace with what they do. And, and it, by being relaxed, it comes through in the flavor of their milk and you can then produce a nice quality product. Um, but. Uh, yeah, my, my cows are all very friendly. I always say if I left the back door open, half of them would probably come right in the house. It's become a, a fairly common thing for this area that folks will visit a farm and, and maybe buy a cow fr fr from a farmer, from a small farm like myself, and take a cow home. You know, they've got an acre or two, 
and they'll raise that cow to produce milk for their family. Um, that, that's become a bigger and bigger thing. Um, and especially as a part of organic, they like an organic cow. They like a nice, tame, gentle cow. Um, and then they know where their milk is coming from. They've got their milk fresh every day. Uh, and they'll do a lot of things with that milk. They'll make cheese, they'll make yogurt, they'll make cottage cheese. Um, I, I've met a few people, sold a couple of cows that way. Uh, they're very interesting people, um, you know, very, very much in tune with the earth. And uh, yeah, so it, it's, it's been a win-win for everybody. You know, you have all your daily routines. You know, they have to be fed every day, twice a day. Uh, when they become a milk cow, they have to be milked every day, twice a day. Um, like I always tell people when they come to look at a cow and they're considering buying one for their own home use, um, I always tell them it's like having another child, you know, I mean, there's responsibility that goes with it. You know, you have to care for them and tend to them. Um, you know, there's no more, you know, hopping on the plane and going to Hawaii for a week. I mean, you know, they're, they're a real responsibility. Um, but I think as long as people understand that and they know that going into it, then it works out well for them. Um, and I, I, I think the rewards are great, you know. You have your own fresh milk every morning, a uh, nice wholesome product that you raise your children on. Um, and I, I think it's good for your children. It, it, a lot of kids today don't, don't know what goes on on the farm, you know. So if, if, if mom and dad have their own cow, you know, I think it, it, it really makes them appreciate, you know, what, what a farmer does and where their food comes from. I think anyone who has a, their own home cow, uh, they get a nice quality product from that cow, nice quality milk. Because um, she becomes part of their family um, and you know she's very calm, very relaxed, which that, that comes through in the flavor of the milk um, be, because she's calm as she's producing that milk. Um, so yeah, they've, they've, they've got a nice flavorful product. You know, they all have their own personality. Um, it's a lot like talking to a teacher that has 25 students in her class. They all have you know, their own personalities. Um, some are a little more outgoing than others. Uh, some are definitely more curious. Um, you know, it's not uncommon for them to get loose from time to time and run around. Uh, you know, you may find some in the garden eating your flowers or um, you just kind of never know what they're gonna be up to. Um, but yeah, they, they all have their own personalities. Um, some are more friendly than others, some are a little bit standoffish, um, but, but yeah, you're, you're kind of like a teacher in a school room. And there's, there's been a little bit of research the last few years and I've just come in contact with it as a farmer uh, because I've been contacted by some folks that would like to get a cow for their own home use. Um, and what they're finding is they're, they're doing a DNA sample on these cows before they take them home. So it's run through a laboratory and they're looking for a cow that's classified as A2, which most Jersey cows are. And I've been told that that's the natural way that, that cows were meant to produce milk, which is of A2 type. And it's not that the quality is any different, it's in the protein of the milk. And by testing the cow for her DNA, it'll show if she's A2. And they're finding that children with autism, if they drink A2 milk, it doesn't cure the autism, I don't want to mislead you, but it's making it more manageable. The, the raw milk that's A2 milk, along with a good wholesome diet, is, is helping these kids to live a more productive life. Um, it's, it's very, very interesting. I, I only know a sh little bit about it. I'd like to learn more, uh, but it is something that's out there right now for folks that have their own cow in their backyard, so to speak. Um, and I've been told that a lot of families with autistic children actually seek this milk. Um, so it's, 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 it's very interesting. I find it very interesting. And I think it's just one step beyond organic. The morning milking starts at 4 a.m. Uh, the cows come in. Most of them come home on their own. They, they like the milking process. Uh, it's very relaxing to them. It's part of their daily routine. 